Hello, everybody. It is my studios, and as I frequently do, I am starting by staring at a rather uninteresting ground. Yep. But, as usual, there is a lever. And, as usual, if I press it, something will happen. This is the, um, not the, a lush and seamless uh, staircase. So you can see no pistons, no redstone, or anything on the wall. It's also continuable. Um, this is actually continued. It's smaller than this. So, it's great. I made one of these a while ago, but the that was actually the second one I made. I made one a while ago that did not have actual stairs. Um, that was still seamless. And I made one that did have stairs, but it was very slow and not particularly. So that's why this you can see it's pretty quick to open and close. And I think it well, doesn't look well. So fits in in a 9 by 6 by 5 area, which is also smaller than the one I made before. Uh, this one is only 270 blocks. I believe the one I made in the past was uh, over 600, so yeah. Um, I can even take away the extra block so you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, I think it's, uh, this is not part of the dimensions, this is just an extra input. The input can also go right here, which is fine. Um, so... I must have broken the stairs. I broke some extra blocks, I should have broken. Don't worry, it works. This, this doesn't happen, okay? <laughs> um, so, there will be a world download in the description, if I remember to get it. And, really does not want to work now, does it? But, there will be a world download, and I'll get into the Real right now, and I know I didn't work block mark, but so now the okay. So I got a six by nine area ready, so we can start building this. And here we go. Um, so keep in mind, the floor level be one, two, three, five, six blocks above. So this is the floor level right here. Um, just keep that in mind. Uh, so, go to this block here, place a double mystic center right there, then these two single mystic centers like this, then you want to place uh, some regular sets here, and one there, as well as there, then place two more right here, as well as a sticky piston. Sticky piston here, and then replace that piston. It'll look like this. Uh, then we need to do the other side. So place a piston here, as well as here, and then go diagonally down like this, and then right here place one more with a sticky piston. And that is the piston layout. Also, I had one more right here. How about that? Okay, so now we're ready for the blue circuit, which is the left side, and basically handles the closing. So, place block 
this, um, input will go right here, and it will have to be a lever or like a repeater, or something that can actually go through blocks, not just redstone. There will be redstone here, as well as on top later on. Um, so now I'm going to grab a slab. Didn't mean that to rhyme, but did. Place it right here. And redstone here. And on the top, I just want to wrap redstone around like this. Basically, all of these pistons will just push out. The exception being this one. This is this row is special. And we'll get to that later. It has its own circuit. Uh, next, go down here and place a torch here. Now, next, what I want to do is come over here and place a block. Right. Uh, wait. No, that's right. That's right. Place a block here. And, um, then this will end up pushing the block out here, and then this will, that's will power this. It's a little bit complicated. You might see later on, or maybe you, and you don't understand any of what I'm doing, and that's fine too. Uh, next, two tick repeater here. Place redstone here. Another two tick repeater. And a block with a torch here and here. So that will handle the double piston extension, which means that this stair block will be able to move up and down. Well, yeah. Um, and lastly, place a dropper a hopper and comparator and block first or place the comparator and put any item in there. I'll just do the lever. Uh, then come over here, place a repeat redstone, and then right here um will be a sticky piston here with an observer on it, which is something I forgot to grab. Let me do that quickly. As well as a piston. That's the piston. Be a piston right here. And this thing gets a little bit difficult to escape sometimes. Um oh, you know what? I can just break that. So now you can place a redstone torch on there. Um, so, now that we can test this, I feel this would be a good time to fill in all the blocks. Okay, so, from this side, we're going to push blocks, and from this side, we're going to push stairs. That's how it's going to work, um, but I'll just I'll show you what can happen. So, place some stairs like this, and you can place one here, and this will be continuable, so you can keep placing them if you want to, but I'm just going to place these so it's less in the way. And then, just place a block next to every one of these stairs on both sides. Um, the exception being this row. As I said, this is a special row. So. And then, you can also fill in these holes, just to make it a nicer staircase. And floor level is going to be right here. So, if you'd like to add in the floor, I like to put a upside down stair right here, just upside down stairs for the top because it gives you more space. So, you should see. Well, that was not what I was hoping to see. I seem to have made some mistakes. Um, these are supposed to be sticky pistons. So, let me quick reset this by pushing all these back. Pretty simple to do if you messed up as well. Um, and still not 
quite convinced that this is right. Uh, no, that is right. What went wrong, though? Because something obviously went wrong. Aha! That is the problem. Place a block right there, and that should have fixed the problem. This one, as I said, is special, and we haven't worked on it yet. So, now, about that there. This still did not retract at the right time. Um, I think that the reason for that is the redstone right there. So, now that should also retract, and you should... You don't have, like, an actual staircase yet, but you should have some blocks here. So, that is a good sign. Now, if that part seems a little bit complicated, do not worry, because this next part is much simpler. We're going to place a piston right here, with a torch on the side, and redstone, two stick here, block, Let's basically do two tick here, thing like that, and then it will run to yet another two tick here, right here. Then, add redstone here, um, and I'll go down like this, and then just wrap around up like that. And that is actually all that, so if you power it, you should see is that all the stairs get pushed back instead of the blocks. So, believe it or not, that's actually most of the door finish. We just have this special piston right here. Or special stair block, I guess. But you should see most of the closing. And then the opening as well. If, for whatever reason, you think this looks completely fine and you don't want to have an extra stair block here, then I suppose that you can stop here, but having the extra stair block makes it a lot nicer. So that is what I'm doing next. Okay, so now for the special piston. So we're going to start out by making a very long chain of piston redstone blocks like this. Then wrap around here. And then finally, right here, what you do is place a piston like this, and then a torch on it. And then is just build up like this, and here's I've got a slab. So let me grab one very quickly. And place that slab right here, like this. Um right now off, like it is for me, then you will see this piston get extended, and that's that's good, that should be happening, if it's not, then something is wrong. Um, <laughs> next, I want to uh, make sure this goes down, and just bring the redstone over, like that, bring down a couple more blocks, like this. Run that into an observer. Place a block here. And redstone here. Then what you want to do is make a pulse extender using a character. It's really very simple. Just like this. Uh, right here. You don't need to place a block to keep that signal from connecting. Uh, and then, right here, you also need a block, not a signal from connecting, but then you can place a torch right here. Uh, that torch is very important. If you don't have a torch, then it won't really work at all. Uh, also, add a piece of redstone right here, and that will just, that will uh, make it work a little better. This, it makes it so uh, this goes down one tick faster, and that one tick actually can matter quite a bit. So what you should see now is this nice stairway, 
and then you can pull this. The entire thing. Get swapped out. You can get the uh, closing and opening. Now, this block right here is a little bit slow, and uh, there is a small fix for that. You might have noticed I have not used this orange wool, even though I have it. So, um, if you would like to, you can do this. It is optional. You don't need it for its work, but it makes it a little bit faster. So if you're low on resources, maybe you don't want to do it, but if you're, if you're in creative or you have tons of resources, I'd see no reason to not do it. So, redstone here. A piston right here. And a torch here. That will power a sticky piston. And basically what this does is it pulls this block back quicker because basically the thing is when you have it like this in the open door, the it takes quite a while for all these redstone blocks to extend. Uh, it takes a long time and then it has to turn off, so by pulling this block out quicker, this retract quicker, which allows this to extend quicker, which then allows this to also extend quicker, and to do that, we're going to place four repeater and three tick right here. So, leave it or not, that should be the entire thing finished. So, go over here. Then you might have noticed that was quite a bit bigger. And you get a nice staircase, completely seamless and continuable. I'm going to clear my inventory because I like to do that. And grab some blocks and you can see we can continue this straight downwards, no problem. I'm break this. Last piece because it's kind of annoying, and that is the door. Um, so I hope that you found this video useful. If for whatever reason you did not, um, you can leave a comment. If you had a problem, I can try to help as soon as I can. Strangely enough, nobody's done that yet for any of my videos, so maybe you can be the first. But anyways, uh, that is all that I have. So, thank you for watching this video. That is all. And...